than the Chaos Emeralds. Sorry. Anyway, so we're gonna take the uh, we're gonna take the high road, and not the low road, because the high road is actually a bit nicer. And then we get to deal with this aspect. This is a beautiful sh shortcut if I can perform this right. There we go. Oh God! You. Oh. I forgot to mention there's a giant ass pitfall here. That's why I'm taking the high path, because if I can pull it off right, I don't I don't have to worry about uh Yeah, I do not have to worry about the annoying little pitfall of amazing doom and despair. Come on, come on, be nice. Be nice! Ha! Glitching for the win. Now we avoid this easy spike trap, and once it gets to a certain point, flip back around. And we're gonna continue. Now we have to deal with a sub-boss, if you can even call it that. These annoying little Firefly. Who you can only hurt when he when the sprite is fully visible. And now we move on to the final boss of Sonic CD. A boss which only takes four hits to, to destroy, and is overall not that hard. Well, it's not hard if you want to be a cheat bastard like I am, and that is basically throughout this boss fight. You want to take the hits. This boss goes down on four hits, so basically the idea is to take the hit, go in for the, uh, take the hit, hit him, then recollect your rings and repeat the process. Get three rings to be safe, and then we'll do it one more time. And then send his weird little blocks off and try to hit you, you can't touch them. Normal players would think, well, oh wow. Normal, normal players will think, well, maybe I can use them as stepping stones. Well, no, if you touch these weird little platform things in general, it just hurts you. And for his final form of attack, when he only has one block left, he'll try to pogo stick you. And now Robotnik is dead. And Sonic grabs Amy, has widescreen splash, and we're treated to our end cutscene. But yes, if you manage to collect all the time stones, then you wouldn't have seen Robotnik fly off with the time stone in hand. And that's a homage to uh, Mega Man, because every time Wise Castle blows up, you always see his skull. Wise skull. And now we go to the credits, which, after, which uh, out of everything I love about this game, is got to be definitely the uh, anime cutscenes. They're very well done and very well executed. And it's actually nice because uh, the Sonic OVA was actually um, all the graphics were actually based off. All the animation was actually uh, based off the style of Sonic CD, which really made it a really awesome movie to watch because it felt like you're watching the Sonic CD uh, cutscenes, but it wasn't Sonic CD; it was an entirely new story altogether. They also had a, a Metal Sonic and Sonic battle in that, which was also really nice. It also has anime styles of all the zones you've been to, which is really awesome. Except for one zone in particular. Um, I probably already missed it because I was too—I was paying attention when I was talking. 
but... And we get an awesome anime style of Sonic and Metal Sonic Racing. Just awesome. Ah, uh, Sonic Boom. An amazing theme. That actually kind of reminds me of Snatcher there for a minute. So, yeah, Sonic CD, probably uh, the reason to own a Sega CD if you ever had one back in the day. Um, it had a port to the uh, PC, part of uh, Sega's PC Ages, which uh, well, you can either get by itself or you can get in a bundle uh, that came with Sonic R and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, this game never uh, saw a reappearance after that until the Sonic Gems Collection that came out on the GameCube and PS2. Um, unfortunately, it was uh, worldwide. Uh, for some reason, Sega decided to put in the American version of the game, so which means the Japanese and European audiences were kind of confused as why the music was different. But for people in America, we didn't know any better. I'm kind of wishing that uh, now they actually would have kept the Japanese version of the game. Just it's just because the audio. Um, the audio is different for both games, and it's handled a hell of a lot better in the uh, European and Japanese mark, but the American music's still good, just not as good. And we get the try again screen because I failed miserably. And what does that mean? Why well, Eggman used the time stones to basically go back in time and make sure Little Planet never got its freedom. But other than that, other than me failing miserably and not collecting all time stones and presented by Sega, ah, uh, this is the end of Let's Play Sonic CD. However, I'm really tempted to do uh, a couple of bonus videos after I'm done with my little uh, month, uh, not month, uh, my Sega CD Marathon. Uh, if you go to the Time Attack screen, basically in Time Attack, you know, you can go through and play all the stages. Um, everything, all the stages start off with like 15 minutes on the mark, and every time you beat a stage, I didn't mean to do that yet, uh, you basically uh, will like de either increase or decrease time. I somehow increased Wacky Workbench. But that level's a bitch anyway. However, what you what you want to try to do is try to, uh, because every time you knock your score down, whenever you get at or below a certain time, then you unlock uh, something. Uh, basically, if you... Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was exactly, but after a certain time, you unlock a sound test so you can listen to music. However, if you can get below uh, 30 minutes and 21 seconds, you can then go through and exit can then go through and play all the special stages. All seven of them in your choice. So I might do a bonus video where I play, where I basically show off all seven special stages, uh, just to kind of like say I'm sorry for not uh, getting the time stones. But I'll save that for probably a bonus video. But that's it for Let's Play Sonic CD. Next game up is going to be Panic. Oh boy, Panic. I'm debating if I should just do a straight playthrough or if I should handle that in 10 minute segments. I'm probably gonna go straight playthrough just so just so the insanity can rub off on me. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed.